Tinder Finance is an omnichain liquidity platform that allows you to do lending and borrowing across multiple chains, and it's built with Layer 0. And even though Layer 0 is already launched their mainnet, this might actually give you some extra point if and when the Layer 0 airdrop happens. By the way, if you haven't seen my Layer 0 airdrop tutorial, you can check out this video right over here. So Cedra Finance is about to launch their mainnet soon, and they've already raised in February about $1.5 million in seed round, and currently the testnet is incentivized. If you know what I mean. So all the interactions that we're going to do right now are going to be on testnet so you don't have to use your actual funds. So let me show you how to do that. All right. Step number one, as usual, we're going to join their socials, Discord and Twitter. So you're going to go through this link. This is going to be a Discord invite link and you're going to accept the Discord invitation. And then you're going to click on this link that's going to take you to Twitter and you're just going to follow them on Twitter. Moving on to step number two. Step number two is going to be to add any of this network. You can choose any of this network. They currently, by the way, support five networks plus BSC testnet as their main network, technically six. So you can choose any of this network. You can choose Polygon Mumbai, BSC testnet, Avalanche, Fuji, Phantom, Arbitrum, Gurley, or Gurley being the East Gurley. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just do Avalanche. And if you don't have it yet, what you can do, and if you want to add any of these chains, you can click on any of these links. That's going to take you to chainlist.org. Let's say we do Avalanche and over here it's going to say connect wallet. So you're going to click connect wallet and you're going to click connect. And after that, you're just going to click add to MetaMask and you're going to confirm the same in the MetaMask and you're going to add this network to your MetaMask. Okay, moving on to step number three. So whatever test network you choose, you need to have some native token to pay for gas fees. So in order to do that, we're going to request some tokens from the faucet. And whatever network you chose, again, I posted all of these instructions on how to request test tokens from the faucet. So since we're going to be using Avalanche, we're going to go through this link. And over here, what we're going to make sure is that we are on Fuji C chain and we're requesting AVAX token. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our MetaMask. We're going to copy our address. We're going to paste it. And we're going to click Request to AVAC. And that's it. The funds should be available in your wallet momentarily. Now moving on to step number four. And that's going to be to get some test tokens for supplying and borrowing, meaning for interaction with the protocol. To do that, we're going to click on this link that's going to take us to app.cedra.finance. Over here, we're going to click Connect Wallet. We're going to click MetaMask and we're going to click connect in the MetaMask. Now, once we're here, what we're going to do, we're going to click get test token. And by the way, over here, they also have links to the faucets where you can request gas tokens, whatever network you choose. But some of them like BSC is probably not going to work that well because they decommission it. So I actually left the link to discord for bsc but i think the rest of them should be fine now in order for us to get the test tokens what we need to do we need to go up here higher and over here whatever network you choose as you can see they have girly testnet they have polygon mumbai and basically they have test usdc and test native token to whatever network like if we are on girly it's test eth if we're on phantom it's test fdm and they also have test USDC basically on every network. So you just need to make sure that you're on the correct network. Like in my example, I'm going to be using Avalanche. So I'm going to click on uh, test AVAX and test USDC. And you can add it to your MetaMask so you can see the balance or you don't have to. But let's just do that. I'm going to click add to wallet. I'm going to click add token. And then I'm going to click next to test USDC. I'm going to click add token as well. And as you can see, these assets are shown in your MetaMask. But... At this time, there is no balances. So to get the balance, what you're going to do, you're going to go back here and you're going to click get. You're going to hit confirm in MetaMask. And once it's disabled, it means that you got your tokens because you can request only a thousand testnet tokens once per address every day. So next, we're going to click get for another test token, which is test USDC. We're going to click confirm and it's done. Now we're moving on to step number five, which is going to be to supply some assets and to withdraw partially that asset so what we're going to do we're going to go through this link or you can go back to where we were and click on market over here make sure that you're on the testnet that you're using i'm using avalanche so i have it here selected and it's also selected in the metamask as you can see right here we're going to scroll down and over here you can see test avax and test usdc so let's say we want to do test avax so we're going to click detail right over here and we're going to click supply and the first thing that it's going to ask us is to enable this asset and it's going to happen to every asset that you're going to use for the first time 
time with this protocol. So we're going to click enable and click use default and click next and click approve. After you got enabled, you're going to click supply again. And over here, you're going to enter the amount of test AVAX. Let's do 10, for example. And we're going to click supply. I'm going to hit confirm and we're going to wait for a transaction to process. All right, guys, this transaction is still pending. It's been almost 20 minutes. And I don't know if the issue is with the layer zero at the moment or with the fact that we're supplying to AVAX. Maybe that's the issue, but as of now, it's not processed yet. So I'm just going to continue with a different network, but it's going to be exactly the same process with AVAX, the one that I'm using right now. And let me show you on the go to the east that i was using earlier so after you've supplied what you're going to do you're going to go to dashboard and over here you're going to find the collateral list tab and over here you can see that you can add even more to the supply or you can withdraw so what we need to do right now we need to withdraw so we're going to click withdraw button and over here is going to ask you to switch to bsc testnet because bsc is the root network for this protocol and as you can see all the borrowing withdrawal and liquidate originates in the bsc testnet so we're going to click switch we're going to click switch network and again we're going to click withdraw and right now we can withdraw as you can see right now we have a withdrawable amount of six test usdc so let's do let's say maybe just like that, 150, and we're gonna click withdraw. And by the way, you can select which network you wanna withdraw to. Let's withdraw to Avalanche, sure. After that, I'm gonna click confirm, and again, transaction in progress. This one is supposed to be faster, so let's see how it goes. And as you can see, 100% transaction is completed. This one took less than a minute. Now we're gonna move on to step number six, which is gonna be to borrow and then repay some assets. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Cedro Finance, market and over here again we're going to select an asset and we're going to click details we're going to click borrow we're going to enter an amount again let's do sure let's do two we're going to select current chain which is avalanche testnet we're going to click borrow we're going to hit confirm and transaction in process so now let's wait for this one to complete and this transaction is complete as well as you can see 100 percent. it also took about a minute maybe a little less now what we're going to do we're going to go back to dashboard and over here, we're going to click on borrow list tab. And over here, we can click repay for the asset that we just borrowed. So let's click repay. And it's going to ask you to switch to the testnet that you borrowed to. So in my case, I borrowed to Avalanche testnet. And I'm currently on BSC testnet, which I'm supposed to be because you can only borrow from BSC testnet. So I'm going to click switch. I'm going to hit switch network. And again, I'm going to click repay. I'm going to enable test USDC because it's my first time using it. I'm going to click use default and next and approve. Now I'll click repay again. I'm going to select the amount, but make sure you don't repay everything. And I'm going to click repay. I'm going to hit confirm and again, wait for transaction to complete. All right. And this transaction is also hanging. And what I noticed is that supply and repay transactions are the ones that are taking the longest. But even then on Gurley, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes maybe to supply so if it doesn't work out for you you can either try switching the test network or you can try to submit another transaction and see if it works for you i'm not going to wait for it to finish and we're going to move on to the next step and the last step in this video is going to be to complete zili tasks so what you're going to do you're going to go to this zili website you're going to click connect right here in the top right corner you're going to click metamask and you're going to click connect after that it's going to ask you to verify your account so you're just going to have to sign as well and over here you're just going to complete as many tasks as you can some of them are pretty simple like follow them every day or follow them on twitter which we already did in the first step so i'm not going to go over it except for a couple of sections the first one is going to be the testnet section and over here as you can see there are five tasks so first one is to get the Cedro testnet proof, meaning that you need to complete all the tasks such as borrow, repay, withdraw, and deposit, and you need to submit the confirmation that you did that. So you're gonna to need to submit a screenshot. And then there are other tasks, which is deposit of the day tasks, borrow of the day, repay of the day, and withdraw of the day tasks. And this Cedro testnet proof, you can only do once. So since we did all of it, we can use the same screenshot for all of these tasks. Just make sure that you have all of these tasks in the same screenshot. So in order for you to do that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go back to Cedro Finance, 
And over here, you're going to click on this transaction icon and make sure that you have all of these transactions visible, deposit, withdraw, borrow, and repay. And you can see the date right over here. So if you're trying to submit the same screenshot the next day for your daily reward points, then probably it's not a good idea because it's not going to work. So you're going to have to submit more transactions and then take another screenshot. But you can take the one screenshot for all of them as long as you they're visible right over here. So after you got the screenshot, you're going to click on each of these tasks. Let's say this one. And you're going to click right here and upload your screenshot. And after that, you can claim your reward. And the next section that I want to talk about is quiz. And here you have to answer correct because as you can see, if you fail, you won't be able to retry. So let's go ahead and do it together. And by the way, all this info you can find in their docs if you want, but I'm just going to give you the answer right now anyway. So the answer to this question is going to be C, Cedro Unified Liquidity Token. Click Claim Reward. And as you can see, Quest claimed. In order to complete this quiz you need to follow them on twitter since you're already following them on twitter what you can do just let's complete this task let's see claim reward yep it worked so let's see if the other one got unlocked yeah the other one got unlocked so now you can click on it and the next quiz if you fail it you can actually retry it the next day so how many followers has cedro finance on twitter so you can just go to their Twitter account and see how many followers they have. But let me tell you the answer. As you can see, currently they have almost 75,000 followers. So your answer is going to be A, over 20K. And we're going to click Claim Reward and Quest Claim. And that was it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button to help YouTube out great. And subscribe to my channel to see more airdrop tutorials like this. By the way, I've already made a bunch of tutorials on different types of airdrops. And you can go ahead and check out this playlist over here. And also check out this Venom airdrop, which is considered among crypto community to be one of the biggest airdrops that's going to happen. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.